today is a very special day for me. It's December the 17th, and six years ago today, I sent my very, very first video off into the world. Um, did not post it on YouTube. However, I did send it to the Oprah Winfrey show. And again, that was the very first time I ever, ever filmed myself. So it's kind of uh, interesting to think back six years ago, I just started making videos. And the whole reason I did it was because I wanted to enter a contest. They were having a, a contest for Oprah, uh, inviting all her fans, um, who were Bette Midler's biggest fans, uh, to send videos in explaining why they are Bette Midler's biggest fan. And so, long story short, I had to do it, and um, I made a video up uh, with a Sony Handycam. This was back in the day before phones and, and flip cameras. Um, but yeah, I, I did it all on my own. I, I did not get help from my husband. And uh, I pieced a, a together a 20-something minute video. And uh, yeah, they liked it. And uh, I did get selected um, and did go to Chicago in January of 2008. Now, the, what does this have to do with anything uh, related to hooping? Um, it really, really does. And that's kind of why I wanted to make the video. Um, I need to give a shout out to somebody uh, that I met when I went to Oprah. And this all ties in to really what I'm doing today. Um, there was a period of time where between the time that the, the producers of Oprah called me and, and then they actually decided, yes, we want to give you a, a couple of seats in the audience. That's about two weeks, uh, and it was between Christmas and my birthday, and I was just going crazy, and I was looking online on videos, trying to read blogs. Had anybody else ever had this problem where they get told, you know, yes, you, we like you, but we don't know if we're going to invite you, you know, and, and it was just driving me nuts. I stumbled across some videos on YouTube of a woman named Megan, and her YouTube channel is Jewel Chick. And I, I just watched two, I think, of her videos, but I could tell she's just a delightful person, but she had met Oprah and she had also been to the show in Chicago and she, by the way, lives in Australia. But, uh, you know, just the fact that she was so happy and, and had come from another country all the way to Oprah, it was intriguing to me. Didn't really find out a lot of information by watching the video, but I did remember what a, a light she was. So anyway, fast forward, yes, I get selected and I go to um, Chicago. We're in audience holding and that's real early in the morning and you have to sit there and wait and wait and wait before they tape the first show. And I, I hear this Australian accent walking up the stairs into audience holding and it was her. I see Megan like walking up past me and I just looked at my husband. I said, that's Megan, that's Jewel Chick. And he didn't know what I was talking about. He's like, what? I said, I've got to go meet her. So I ran right over to her chair. It's a big room. Look like, it looks like a, a, an, an airport terminal. But I ran down the seat of chairs, and I went straight to her, and I went, you are Jewel Chick. Hi, I saw you, you know, on, on YouTube last week. And I just couldn't believe she was there, you know. I'd just seen her. And so we struck up a little conversation, and she was just like, oh, no. Uh, and it's so... I thought, well, I'm not going to see her again. I just, I just wanted to say hello. Well, it ends up after the first show, after the whole Bette Midler thing, there was another show they were taping and we ended up staying for that. They invite audience members when they don't have enough seats and to, to fill seats. Anyway, long story. Um, we waited in line for another, I don't know, hour. And uh, sure enough, you know, we got to talk longer. So what happened was in that line, when we're sitting there talking, Megan was asking things about like what I did. We were exchanging stories and I told her, I said, I, I've discovered hula hooping and I really like it and I, I'm going to teach it someday. And the whole reason I said that, and it was like news to my husband, I think, um, was because during that season of Oprah, y'all might remember she was going over law of attraction and positivity and making things happen in your life. And 
you know, at that point, I could tell I really wanted to do something different. Um, and, and hooping was just really, really something I was interested in, but I could tell I was falling into that habit of not honoring, you know, making commitment on something and making things happen better for me. I just kind of going along, trying to, trying to do things. I wasn't getting active enough, knew I needed to, but something in the back of my mind was like, you really like this. You should just claim it, own it and do it. But I was hesitant. But meeting Megan right there in line, she was in my face, so positive. I just said, you know, in, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to just say it. But that'll dip my toe in. So I said, I'm going to teach hooping. And she just came back with this, well, you will. You just said it. You're going to do it. And at the time, I'm like, oh, that can't be that easy. I'm not, you know. But I did catch myself when I got back remembering her little voice and the fact that I had said it to somebody. Somebody who, to me, was non-threatening because I'd never met her before. And I did. I, I shifted that day. I absolutely know it. Because when I got back, I didn't jump right into hooping again, like like full force. I'd only been doing it a few months and my hoop was sitting in the hallway. But what I do know is is that I do, do know I, I put that in my mind as a, I made a commitment. And I just kind of went a little further with it than I probably would have had I not met her. She had this this spirit about her that made me feel anything was possible. And Megan, honey, I know I've said it to you before. We've typed it in notes back to each other, back and forth. But I just got to give you the shout out of the, of the year. You really helped me see that anything is, is possible if I just put my mind to it. And I might add, on the heels of of just getting to go to the Oprah show and making that happen. You know, I had to, I had to work at it. I had to ask a lot of people to write the show. And I remember I went crazy, but I had never done anything like that. And, and I proved to myself that I can make something happen. And you knew that I did it because I told you the story while we were waiting in line. So now that upon that, upon meeting you anyway, how random Everything just kind of collided, and I knew there's something good from this got to come. And I really think what came from it was my attitude and the way I started to do things once I returned back home. And it wasn't but a few months after that I decided I'm going to study it seriously, and I think I'm going to really pursue the teaching end of it. But uh, I, I don't, I don't think that if I'd never met Megan in person. I would have taken the leap to actually teach hoop dance. So that's all uh, I wanted to kind of say is today's the day that marks the beginning of that journey because I really didn't know what I was doing, what I was getting myself into. And just from one video, and I say video like a VHS, from one video came so much because things have never been the same since I slipped that, that tape in the mail at the post office. So anyway, you never know what's going to happen. I'm just saying. It's so random, this life we live. Um, so that's all I've got for now. Um, I'm going to keep drinking my orange juice and my sparkling Ozarka <laughs> uh, with lemon. And um, I will catch y'all in a few more days. I'm really I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Have a doctor appointment tomorrow, and I will do everything to get better by Christmas. Bye-bye.